Thank you very much, Mark. Now in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, we've not seen it for quite a while actually, it's dog trainer and vet nurse Kelly McFarland. Great to have you back, Kelly. Yeah, good to be back. So we're talking about puppies and training your puppy. What age should you start training your dog? Pretty much as soon as you get them. Uh, some people feel that when they get their puppy, they're so overwhelmed and then they start to panic and don't know really what they should be doing. But yes, from day one, start training your pup. Okay, so what should you be looking at teaching them first? Usually their name, it's definitely a helpful one to start helping them understand that they need to be looking at you. Yeah. And uh, most common one is toilet training. Yes, well that's the one that you really want to master <laughs> yeah. pretty quick, don't you? Otherwise it gets quite tiring. Um, you hear people say that they have a naughty puppy. Is this actually true? Some people may say that's true, I don't. I think the puppy's usually just a little bit confused. Probably the training's not consistent with the whole family. Mm. And yeah, you've just got to just stick to what you've been uh, trying to teach them. So what happens if you get a dog who pretends that she doesn't know her name when she does know her name? What do you do then? Because that's what my dog does. And she knows her name, but she only comes when she decides she wants to. Because she's probably learned it's only best to come to you when she knows she's going to get something. So she, so it's not always being reinforced. She's a little tart. It's my fault. <laughs> so, she, so she's training you, not the other way around. So what's the best way then to train your puppy? Um, what I tend to do personally, and there's a lot of trainers out there, we look at uh, using reward-based type training. So not just food, a lot of people get confused thinking you should only ever use food for, for training. Uh, toys is a, is a big one and that's definitely used in a lot of, you know, kind of math use it to train their animals, uh, the drug detector dogs, and um, also praise as well. So it really depends on what the animal really wants and what they see as the reward. And what's the, what they react to. Yeah. Um, what should you not do then? Definitely not do when you're training your pooch. Certainly not punishment methods, that's very old school. And what we found um, again through science and, and all the research that's been done over many, many years is dogs then become frightened of you. It can actually uh, break down the relationship. Mm. Some people, um, again, old school methods would have used squirty bo bottles in the dog's face to stop them barking. Yeah. Uh, obviously many years ago and I hope no one does it anymore, you know, rubbing the dog's nose and it's wee. Well that's a very common thing that you hear of Which, still. you know, yeah. we, don't, we don't do that to toddlers, so why are we doing it to the dog? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure some people may want to do it to their toddler, but you shouldn't. <laughs> and, um, and also things like shaky bottles as well, so rattles. Um, so yeah, anything that, that frightens the animal, you, you shouldn't be using that. We, we now know that doesn't work for children. It also doesn't work for, for any form of species either. So how should you quickly train your dog for toilet training? One of the most basic things they need to know. If you're consistent, I mean, you, and again, depending on the puppy age, how old the dog is, but you know, it, it takes good, a good few weeks and you've got to be consistent. A lot of people feel after three, four weeks, oh, the dog's got it, so yay, everything's fine. But actually you've got to continue on with it. And that's where I tend to recommend for young puppies use crate training mm. as well. Crate training worked well for our dog, but then she was very well toilet trained until it got cold and she didn't want to go anymore. Oh, and fine. she started going on the beds <laughs> because that was nice and warm and soft. Uh, we mastered that, thank goodness. Can children help with the training? Yeah, I have no problems with any child in the family helping with, with training. I think it's a good thing for everyone to be on board. And it also helps children, um, again, from when Heather from Back in Z was here a while ago about, you know, kind of bite statistics yeah. and things. So it helps the child learn to respect the animal and um, yeah they, they build a really good bond. What should I look for in a trainer when I'm finding someone to train my dog? Uh, someone who doesn't use any form of punishment methods is my critical one and soon there will be a um, endorsement program being released here in New Zealand and so yeah start looking for trainers that have been endorsed by one of the associations. That's excellent yeah and finally is it ever too old to train you, what is you do not? I'm not too old. Is my is it is my dog ever too old to be trained? No, to put it that way. No, not as far <laughs> as I'm concerned. So I can still do some good with Pepper. Excellent. I'm very <laughs> pleased to hear it. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. And now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Toby, who likes chilling in a palm pot. Fifty dollars to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to you. A pot plant or a plant pot? Uh, it's to your owner, actually, Justine Frost. And if you'd like to enter your pet, and it can be any type of pet at all, just upload a pic on our Facebook page.